All right, not sure if you can hear me, but took a screw out of there. Got to remove the 12 volt, and then the gas line, and unplug it from here. Okay, so I removed the propane line, which was fairly easy. I'm covering it just to make sure nothing gets in it, both sides. Probably not a, the best thing to do or use, but this is all I have. So it's connected to the 12-volt, and unplug the 110, and again, the screw that goes that was holding the back end over here. There's nothing on this side holding it. So I'm going to go back inside. All right, for the inside, I just, I'm gonna pop that out. There's a couple of screws in there. I've already done this in the past just to, to look how, and see how I was gonna remove this. And then there's one there. Uh, focus, another one right there. It's kinda hard to see in the corner. And then this whole cover comes out. Okay, so with this flange on the fridge, it, uh, it's over 24 inches. The problem is the door is 23 and a quarter, 23 and a half, which obviously it's not even square, but three, 23 and a quarter. So I have to take this off, which it's removable. I thought it was just, boop, take the screws out. Couple more on the bottom there. One on each corner. I loosen these up. These aren't attached to to the fridge. They're just holding these little pieces. Anyways, to take the rest of it off, I have to take the doors off, and it should slide out. However, I got the cord to worry about. So, right there, we'll have to figure it out. All right. So, found out this whole trim piece is glued all the way around so i've been prying it but finally gave out the glue there so i just got to take this side off now there there is some clips but you can easily bend them with the screwdriver uh, to get them but they're only grabbing onto the plastic here so and I've been using a plastic tool to prevent scratching. So, there you go. Okay, in my case, I found there is some wiring going through on the right side of the uh, refrigerator that goes to the control panel up top. I have it removed right now, but so I'm gonna have to be extra careful not to tear that wire up. There's a uh, I think two, two or three wires. I don't know if you can see them. They're greenish. Okay, that cable. You can see, it's not for the control panel. The control panel's right there, but it goes around the freezer. So I'm assuming some kind of sensor or heating something. Anyways, I don't want to cut it or anything, so. It's just clipped on and taped on the door around. So I'm going to take it off carefully and tape it on to here. Then once I'm done getting the fridge out, I'll carefully put it back and tape it. It looks like they're using aluminum tape, so I have some of that. I'll, I'll use that. All right. So the fridge is out. You can see Horse River did not bother to put any insulation here. Um... Which I guess it works out because I'm not putting any either, except for up there, that vent. I have to cover it up, insulate it, and then there as well. So, but before 
obviously the weather or the temperature cold hot come in here and it just hit this and this wall so I'm kind of glad I actually took the old one out so I won't have to worry about putting any more insulation here since really it's gonna be in the air conditioner heated area anyways all I have to worry about is the exterior which is there and then up at the top so I do have to cut this piece a little bit a few inches or a little bit more. I might have to remove the whole thing actually just to give a little breathing room to the fridge and that piece as well back there. So, sorry. I'm a little dirty now. Uh, it was a pain to get that fridge out uh, only because of the door and then the, uh, what do you call it? The flange that they use which I'm assuming they put it in before they built the rest of the RV or they brought it in through one of the windows which I don't have the equipment to do that so I took the whole trim piece off which was glued as you saw earlier anyways uh, I do have to go get a cap for that propane line and we should be good to go. I'm going to cut those off or just put cover them up so they don't short out. Could always add a USB. Not that I'll use it very often, but I'm thinking of adding a fan to help the fridge um, kind of cool off the compressor area, which will be kind of in that area, but obviously that'll be closed up. Closed up. Anyways, I'll stop rambling okay so I insulated the top with the foam board and then the foam around it uh, there's no wind or air coming through now uh, it's still kind of damp still drying so that'll be a little bit but it should be okay for me to do the rest so I got that now I'm gonna cut this piece of trim up but as you can see the light is quickly fading away so I'm gonna try to finish it tonight and see how far I get all right so I butchered up the uh, cabinet now so those uh, genies at the factory stapled from the other side into a piece of wood that was here which actually I don't know why doesn't provide any structural support anyways Cut it here, to here, there, there. So now it should give me enough room. There's another piece back there. Cut it as well. And the next attempt, attempt will be to uh, get the fridge in here. Okay, here it is. It's put in. I have to trim that up. Put a little piece of trim, hide that, but other than that, oops, it's just enough clearance up there. I had to adjust it, but there is a fridge. Just clean up my mess now. Oop. Come on. So I opened up the access panel back there to try to. Uh, bolt through from the bottom up to the fridge so this is only a piece of wood down there and it's already bolted in the back so that should be enough to keep it from flying out um, I might do a couple of points attachment points here where the door attaches so it's nice and secure but for now this is good took me a lot longer than expected but there she is okay so to prevent the door from opening while traveling I came up with this uh, little piece of plastic I know the screw is kind of 
very visible there, but, um, and this is, I saw something similar online with, uh, metal, but I have a 3d printer that I wanted to see if I can design something. And I did. I mean, it's, it's pretty small. It clears. Um, this was only a prototype, so, but it seems to be working. Uh, next step will be to make it solid. This is kind of hollow, so it's, it's sturdy enough. I've already driven it and I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, and it's ABS, so shouldn't scuff the finish at all right there of the fridge. So, but. I have to come up with something better so I can hide that screw head. Um, but it seems to be working for now. And I mean, it's fairly cheap um, material wise. So I, I've seen other people use the baby straps, like the little locks, um, which I don't want to use. I've used those in the past. Um, and sometimes they kind of get in the way when they're flapping over or they're not in use so this should be a little bit you know easier obviously when we stop we're not even going to bother with it but when we're ready to travel it's got there and it's locked in place so it doesn't take much to keep it locked um so if you have any questions let me know and that concludes the project of the fridge as you can see it's installed. I didn't damage anything, thankfully. And there's a lot more room now.